You've seemed a bit off lately. What's going on? It's just some family stuff. I don't really want to get into it. Dealing with that is sometimes way harder than anything you face in the ring. <laughs> I hear you. Hey, actually, I need a partner for a tag match. Would you be willing to team up with me? Might be a good way to get my mind off of everything. Yeah, I guess I could do it. Ay, gracias. Um, any kind of strategy you want to discuss before we team up? All I care about is trying to get you the win. Maybe that will help break you out of your funk. That's not necessary, but I appreciate it. Anything for you, partner? The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 412 pounds, Darrow and Hector Flores. This athlete was hampered by nagging injuries when he competed on the Indies, but looks to be in tremendous shape tonight. We're looking at a competitor who battled adversity to get here, and he's not going to take this for granted. I'm a man with a plan. Here comes a man with a plan himself, the Brian Kendrick. Unpredictable and as dangerous as the day is long. And their opponents first from Venice, California, weighing in at 174 pounds. See Ryan Kendrick! Kendrick, a multi-time tag team champion, a former cruiserweight champion as well, ultra-talented veteran of the ring. When you're as ready and prepared and plan as well as Kendrick, titles just sort of happen. Don't you guys just love it when a great plan comes together? Make way for the Irish ace. This is going to be good. And his partner from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds. He is the Irish Ace, Jordan Chandler! Uh, this man began training at 12 years old. He was actually trained by Finn Balor. No, no. Obviously, Balor taught him well as this man owns the longest cruiserweight title reign in WWE history at 438 days. He's got a big ego, all attitude. But Jordan Devlin always backs it up in the ring. Confidence personified. the PC and now join forces tonight to take on the duo of Brian Kendrick and Jordan Devlin. Hector Flores hasn't been himself lately, but maybe teaming up with someone from his past will help him get back on track. Kendrick and Devlin aren't going to make things easy, so Hector better get his head straight if they want to win this match. absorbed some damage already. Oh, and a stop. And the pressure on Kendrick continues to mount. Kendrick is going to have to dig down deep to turn things around. Kick right to the body. Kendrick was scouted there. Oh! <laughs> 
Beautiful elbows. And a spinning back kick, too. Kendrick's in a precarious position. Snapping the neck. He's dictating the pace of this match now, guys. Keeping the pressure on. Kendrick tied that one. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Set up for a second time. superstars that go great together and that win is proof the wrestling gods have truly blessed this union i fully expect to see more showings like this going forward from this duo i know we got the win out there tonight but i apologize i was definitely not on top of my game i could tell i know you said you didn't want to talk about your family stuff but what the heck is going on all right you have to promise not to tell anyone else about it deal yeah I promise. So my father has been in touch with me lately. I thought you were on speaking terms. We weren't, but since I made it to NXT, he's been contacting me all the time. So why is that a bad thing? Because I haven't been honest with you or anyone else about my background or who my dad is. The truth is I do come from a famous Mexican wrestling family. My father is El Mago Sr. Wait. I'm confused. What about that wrestler El Mago Jr.? Is he your brother? And why hide all this in the first place? Let me explain. When I first decided to get into wrestling, I wanted to carry on my father's name and become El Mago Jr. But my dad didn't think I had what it took to make it and decided to sell the name to the guy who's now El Mago Jr. It really hurt that he put his faith in some stranger instead of his own son. Ever since then, I've been determined to make it on my own without my father's help or namesake. Wow. Well, I guess that explains why you wanted nothing to do with his retirement show a while back. Exactly. And I was fine just doing my own thing, but now that I've had some success and made it to NXT, my father suddenly wants me to be El Mago Jr. Interesting timing. Yeah. And worse... He's even convinced NXT management it's a good idea. This is the last thing I ever wanted. My father should have no part of my success when he never once believed in me before this. Okay. I think I know how you can get rid of this problem. Like, as in, get rid of my father? <laughs> I don't think I could do that. What? No. We just have to take away the prestige of the El Mago name by exposing El Mago Jr. and in turn your dad as frauds. Then, this will all go away. How do we do that? Just follow my lead. In the meantime, we should continue competing on NXT like nothing's up. And their opponents! At a combined weight of 365 pounds, Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza, Legado del Fantasma. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over.
two tag team action. Doesn't get any more classic than this. You truly get the best of both worlds, and sometimes pairings you really didn't see coming. Hey, kind of like you and me, Corey. I would very much like to be excluded from this narrative, Saxton. He thought he did more damage than he actually did. Reversal on Wild. Punch in the nets. Hooked up. Oh, shit breaker. Big impact. Tag. Oh, man. He didn't need that eyebrow anyway. This match grinded him down a little. What makes a great tag partner, Cole, is knowing when to tag. We'll find out soon enough if he's even a good tag partner. Yeah. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. is showcasing his arsenal. Flores is unloading attacks here. Oh, uh, well scouted by Wilde. A uh, running Hurricane Rana. Ah! Evading offense. Wilde holds him up. He moves just in time. Ow! Ooh! That hurt. Here we go! Suicide dive! Looks like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Two! He slides back into the ring. All measured up. A drop kick to the spine. Not so fast. And now Wild is being measured. Here it comes. Oh, God, what a brain buster. Flores with a game ender. Oh, and this has got to be it. One, two. Oh, and he got the shoulder up. No way. No way. I refuse to believe that wasn't three. He wants it one more time. Right down on the skull. This is troublesome for Wild. Oh, man. He's going to the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. Two, three, oh, he got him on a win. Here are your winners, Daryl. And Hector Flores. Tag team chemistry in full effect with these two superstars. For my money, these two just might be the best tag team on the roster today.
Before we get to the unmasking, we have something else to reveal. El Mago Jr. isn't who you've been told he is. He is not El Mago's son. And we can prove it now. Doesn't look like he's from around here, huh? That's because El Mago Sr. hired him to play the role. It was all a scheme to capitalize on his own notoriety, to lie to you, and steal your hard-earned money. Let him go. He's already brought enough shame upon himself. No need to unmask him and pile on. But if these fine people here want to let him know he's a fraud, I'd be okay with that. Fraude, fraude, fraude. 